lot of people want to make uh, goals or have goals equate with a certain number of wins during the course of the year. That stuff kind of takes care of itself. You can't really say we're trying to win X number of games. Uh, if you do all the work necessary to put yourself in a position to be successful, then you'll achieve all the things that you want to. And, and the character of the players, the character of the people involved in the program really will lead you down that path. I think our preparation has been tremendous to this point in time. And we don't have anybody new in the program right now. Every guy that's part of our team is returning, whether it be three years or one year of experience. They all know what our expectations are of them as players. They all know how we practice every day. They all know how we play. And it's enabled us to, to do a really good job preparing and taking care of some of those small details. And I think that's going to come through on game day. As I've been getting the question about our style of play throughout the preseason, the one statistic I keep coming back to is last year we averaged 16 and a half assists per game. We're in the top 10 in the country in assists per game. And I think that's really an indicator of our style of play, especially on offense, our willingness to share the ball and our ability to make some shots. And it's the way that we've built the program. We've recruited guys that are multi-dimensional players. We've recruited guys that can make some shots and set each other up. And this particular group has worked very well together continuing with that. As we start talking about the players, we really have to start with Antoine Carter. He's been tremendously successful to this point in his college career. If he stays on pace statistically with what he's done, uh, he has a great chance to end up as the all-time leading scorer in Longwood basketball history, which is quite an accomplishment as you look down through the record books. Uh, aside from that, Antoine is a uniquely talented guy. He can score in around the basket. He's very difficult to defend. All four of the other guys that make up the senior class for us this year, Duran Neal, Jan Vanderkoy, Martez Washington, and Jeremiah Bowman, have been through uh, everything we've done. They've been through a lot of adversity. They understand what playing at this level is all about. In the case of Jan, Martez, and Duran, they've been here for quite some time. Jeremiah is the same age as those guys. He was new last year and hit the adjustment period for him. Uh, it took a little bit of time, but it, uh, it completed itself during the course of the year last year. He's done a great job getting ready for this season. And those four guys, along with Antoine, really this is their team. They've got to do a good job leading us. They've got to do a good job maximizing their own abilities. Each one of these four guys, along with Antoine, is going to play a significant number of minutes they're going to have an impact on what goes on for our team. They're going to be leaders. We're going to look to them for some guidance within the team structure. And really looking forward to each one of them having an enjoyable senior year. And boy, the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. They've put an awful lot into this team so far. And I think uh, the results are going to show for that. When you move down past that group of five seniors, you have a, a group of players that has, in one way or another, experienced what college basketball is all about. In the case of T.T. Carey, he spent one year at LaSalle. He transferred in last year. He's been at Longwood for a year now, so there's nothing new for him here. The role he plays is going to be new for him. In the case of Anthony Taylor, he was here last year. He sat out with an injury, but he practiced for most of the year, and he understands what being here and what we do is all about. And for the other guys, Mark Parker, David Robinson, Jelani Dublin, Jeff Havenstein, Stephen Shockley. These guys now have all experienced what this level of college basketball is about. The challenges that you face to be successful at this level are not new to them. The progress that they've made physically, mentally, emotionally have prepared them to be good. Each one of those guys is capable, capable of helping us in a different way. And the, the better they play, the more they do, the more success we're going to have. How I feel right now about this team is anything that this group accomplishes will not be a surprise. We have a lot of good players. They're high character kids. They love being here. They love Longwood. They love what we're doing. They're excited about the beginning of the season. And I think there's a clear picture of what they're capable of doing. So as far as surprises go, whatever we do, uh, I don't think anybody's going to be shocked by it. The one thing we can't get caught up in 
is our own success. As we start to experience it, can't get, can't relax, you can't take that for granted, must continue to do the work that you've done to get you there to allow you to progress to the next point. And I think we potentially uh, can have a fantastic season. Heightened anticipation, as I've said, very much looking forward to the start of it. And I hope everybody that comes out to the games is doing the same.